And this is the battle for the overall World Cup. Rachel Atherton readies herself. A small advantage. It's absolutely crunch time. Just two race runs left now to decide who will be the World Cup winner for 2018. Fastest in the technical parts. Not far off in the steep or the corners. Rachel Atherton is on track. So 200 points on offer in this final. And you see a, a bit of difference to the other riders right there. She didn't pedal as much up at the start, but look at this. 12.3 up there, split number two, massive advantage. Although Rachel and Tani have been in a class of their own now. We saw that in qualifying. It's right. on the brakes around that left. Good speed into the trees here. Off this big drop now. Perhaps cautiously off the top. Very there, but cautious, so but you big. have to be. So the fastest time so far this weekend is a 508. Wow. After and carries good speed up there. Yes, Hard aggressive on the riding. On the top of it. And quick off the Smith drop. Ooh, she a little really, stall right there. She had a massive moment there last year. It was one of the greatest saves I've ever seen. And Foot that... down. <laughs> Through there, she's trying, Claudio, that's for sure. 14 seconds now. Tucking down this fast straight. Yes, she's definitely not holding back. I haven't seen her riding that aggressively in a long time. So she definitely does want this win. I hope it goes well for her. She definitely wants this win. She definitely wants this title. Already four times an elite world champion, five times the overall World Cup champion. Four wins here, Rachel Atherton has had. Only one behind Sabrina Jonnier, the French woman who had five wins here and is the most successful. So a win today would see her match that record. This is looking good right here, very good. And it looked aggressive and I would say pretty faultless so far. So through the Lisdale's key section, 30.3 is the fastest so far. What's Rachel Atherton done? Got a feeling it's going to be considerably quicker. It is 1.9 up then through that rock section. The chainsaws are buzzing. And Atherton takes the straight line down that big rock slab. The majority of the women have been to the left there as we look at the screen. This is looking good, Claudio. Right, now another sprint and she still has her chain at the right place, extending that lead. She did win here in 2016 by the massive margin of 11 seconds, even pushing out in these lower turns. We can see that her tires went sideways a couple of times. That means she is riding at the absolute edge. It's a real grudge match between these two this year. Rachel Atherton now has done a great run and she's gonna go fastest by a massive margin. 20 <laughs> seconds, 4.51. She smashes that time of Seagrave in qualifying that 5.08 by a considerable margin. Of course, I imagine, is faster today, but I think that's going to be pretty tough to beat. Well, brilliant. And we see her here, how she went sideways a couple of times, managed to stay on her bike. What an awesome ride from her. Going into that new section here where she had a little bit of a stall and you see the zone ana analysis. Most of the time she's in the green, so she was pretty much faster everywhere than, than Tracy Hanna. And that, as you said in the, in the uh, top of the show, Claudio, is the key to this one. It's, you know, the men are all the way down this thing. There's so many different components to it. Between these two this year, Rachel Atherton now has done a great run and she's going to go fastest by a massive margin. 20 <laughs> seconds, 4.51. She smashes that time of Seagrave in qualifying that 5.08 by a considerable margin. Of course, I imagine, is faster today, but I think that's going to be pretty tough to beat.